Assalamu alaikum guys, we're going to solve a question about conservation of energy. Uh, the question says a ball of mass 250 grams. First of all, is this, is this the unit I want? Uh, I need to convert it to kilogram. It's th thrown vertically with a velocity of 3 meters per second. So this is not in kilometer per hour. I'm happy. Use the law of conservation of energy to calculate the maximum height it reaches. The maximum height it reaches. So I have a ball here and I throw it with three meters per second. So at the beginning, at the bottom, does it have any uh, gravitational potential energy? Does it have any uh, gravitational potential energy? No. So here, uh, PEG is zero and kinetic energy is different from zero. Then this ball will convert that kinetic energy to potential energy until it reaches the maximum height. At this height, it stops and then it falls back. So at the, this maximum height, V would be zero. So the kinetic energy would be zero. And then all that kinetic energy was transformed or, or was uh, converted into what? Into potential energy. So, and then we are after this H. We could, you know, we could, um, uh, we could ask uh, the question in another way, in like a step by step. So the first step, calculate, would be calculate the kinetic energy at the bottom. So then, what is the formula for kinetic energy? The formula for kinetic energy is half mv squared. So the half is a half. This guy is in grams, so I'm going to convert it to kilograms. So I'm going to divide it by 1,000. 250 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.25. Then the V, which is 3 squared. So in your calculators, you take the 3, you square it, you multiply it by 0 0.25, and then you again multiply by 0 0.5, or you divide the whole thing by 2. So we find that the kinetic energy... Uh, somebody has done the calculation for me, is 1.125 joules. So at the bottom, that's all the energy I have. The form of energy is kinetic. I don't have a, a PEG. So then here, when it reaches the maximum height, I don't have kinetic energy. I have just PEG. So this kinetic energy, the 1.125 joules, is going to be what? Is going to be at the top, is going to be MGH. Okay? And what am I after? I'm after the H. So I'm going to write 1, 1, 2, 5. The mass is 0 0.25. The G is, uh, let's say, is 10. Okay? To simplify our lives. And then the H. And then you solve for the H. Okay, you solve for the H and you find that H is around 0 0.45 meters. I hope that this is uh, crystal clear, that this is easy. If you have questions, uh, let me know. Okay, thank you.